press conference after the Baltimore Regional Final. We have Johns Hopkins here after a loss to Tufts in four sets. Uh, Coach Troy, we'll just start with you. You know, a, a truly incredible run. I know you obviously you haven't had time to reflect back on all of it, but just what's going through your mind at this point? Um, well, first I want to congratulate Tufts. They played a phenomenal ball game. Um, defensively, they kept themselves in system. You know, I felt we were trying to give them everything we had, and, and they responded extremely well. And I hope they go on and do great things. I, I think they really do have a wonderful chance at, at taking us. I mean, you know, to come in here into our environment and to play the way they played, I mean, hats off to them. Core is a fantastic coach. Uh, their players fought extremely hard. And, uh, you know, so th th I want to give props to them. They did fantastic. Um, as far as, you know, I mean, the run that we had was because of all of them and, and how they are with each other and the investment that they make in this program and off the court and the love and the care and just the genuine people that they are. And yeah, you can win off of talent, but you don't do what this amazing group has done just off the of talent. And so I just want to make sure that we emphasize that it's the program's culture and the people that are in this program that have allowed this to happen the way it has happened. But we're, we're really proud for, uh, for everything. Matt, I just wanted to ask what you thought was different. I mean, obviously you guys got more of an opening in the third set and, and what kind of changed between you know the, the third and the fourth when I mean, you guys were, it was still neck and neck early in the fourth and, and then they went on that run again that, that kind of looked like the second set. Yeah, I mean, I, I think one, they, they put themselves in system a lot. And anytime a team puts themselves in system as much as they did, they're going to be tough to defeat. And, uh, you know, they played out of their minds today, in my opinion. Um, could we have played better? Yes. Um, I think our ball control was probably our, our, our biggest downfall today. You know, players that normally do extremely well struggled a little bit, but they fought hard and they, they battled through the adversity. And so, like, like I was telling the team, I'm really proud because when you look at that fourth set, the last four or five points, I mean, we were passing three balls. We were doing everything we could to give ourselves an opportunity. And, and that resiliency and that fight and just that pride that they have in one another to work hard and trust is, is you know, what I will take home from this match over, over anything else. Um, but yeah, I think our ball control broke down a little bit more than, than we could, we could you know, let it today. Um, but, you know, everybody stepped up at some point, you know, during the match and, and played hard and well. Um, so. Simone, uh, I, I think it's no question that the two of you are, are looked at as leaders of this team and you certainly are a big vocal leader for this team what was the message that you guys tried to impart to the rest of the team maybe after that second set when you fall behind two or uh two oh early just that you know we need to dig deep and give everything that we have um it's something that i'm really proud about um for this team and the program overall is that we just never give up um we struggle, sure, in execution um, in a variety of areas, and that's true, but no one ever um, gave up trying. No one got scared of the ball. Everyone was throwing themselves on the ground to try to give everything that they can um, to make the best play possible. Um, even if it didn't work out, there's no fear. Um, people really leaned in hard and trust each other, and uh, what I'm most proud of is that no matter how much we were struggling, we just link up arms and dig even deeper together as a team. Um, we never point fingers at each other. We never blame each other. We never yell at each other. Um, we don't retreat inside ourselves and you know blame ourselves. We just dig deep and lean into each other and trust each other and love each other. And um, that's our, our greatest strength. And that is what allowed us to have such a strong showing in the third set and what allowed us to continue fighting even though we were down in the fourth set, um, to not give up until the very end, like all the way through, giving it everything that we had. Um, that's the character of our team. Uh, and Natalie, kind of parroting off of that, what's it like to be a veteran leader, a setter that's out there directing traffic to a team that you know is totally bought in, no matter what the situation is, a team that's not gonna give up behind you, uh, no matter how far their back is against the wall? Yeah. It's a great feeling being able a leader of an offense and a defense who is giving everything that they have. Like Simone said, there wasn't one point where I saw heads falling or shame or embarrassment. We were always dialed in and always giving our best effort. And I think we can be very proud of that. Tough.
Cubs just had a really good day and they're a great team and I think they'll go far, but um, I think we had glimpses of our stronger, um, stronger efforts, but we just couldn't really string them together very well today. So the last question I have is really for Simone and Natalie. I was with you guys when you were a freshman and it took this program to a point where it had never been before. And I think back now and you guys have are leaving this in a much better place than you found it. You've taken Hopkins volleyball from a team that can get into the NCAAs to now a team that is a national power. I know it's hard at this minute to think like that, but how do you feel about where you're leaving this program and the players that you've trained about what it means to be a Hopkins volleyball player? You know, it's not, no one likes to end a season this way, but I am so proud of what we're leaving behind. Um, we really have worked to transform the program into something that um, we can be proud of and something that you know other teams play us and are happy to play us you know whether they win or lose um, they I think we have a lot of respect like within the community for how we treat each other and how we treat ourselves and um, within the department as well um, and that's because of the character that we all have within each other and the values that we uphold. So um, this is just the beginning. Um, 2019 is just the beginning of Hopkins volleyball being not just like a national presence um, going forward, but being a place where anyone who comes here is welcomed, is loved, is cared for, and is supported, um, and a team that anyone would be happy to be on. Natalie, anything to add to that? Yeah, I mean, I just, I couldn't, that's my greatest accomplishment in my four and a half years at Hopkins Volleyball is leaving a program that I want every high school player to have the chance to be a part of because it's just been the best experience and I'm, I'm just excited to see what they do. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. Congrats on an outstanding season. Thank you. Thank you.